In this session, we're going to look at how to book an appointment for an apprentice. So from your dashboard, you would just click on the calendar icon. This then brings up the book a new session screen. You just need to make sure that the assessor is in the correct name, that you've got the correct apprentice name as well. If these are incorrect, you can click on the drop down menu and you can select the right apprentice or the right assessor that you require. You would then select your session method. This would always be traditional unless you plan to do a smart session, which is very similar to a Skype call, which you would then select your smart session. You then need to select a location that you're going to see your apprentice at. So you would just type in the name of the workplace in there. You then need to select their session date and the time. If you click on this box here, it will then bring up the calendar for you. So you just click on when you plan to go out to see your apprentice on the date and then select the time. This is a 24 hour clock, so make sure if it's one o'clock in the afternoon that you are changing it to 1300 hours and not just going for one there as that will send your apprentice an email, say they've got an appointment at one o'clock in the morning. So select the time um, and again, you can change the minutes. You can use these buttons here as well um, to adjust the time if you can't get it right just by using the, uh, the cursor there. Once you're happy that the time's correct and the date is correct, you just click on done. You then select the duration. So how long do you plan to spend on that session? So whether it's an hour, two hours, again, you can add the minutes if you want the minutes on there. And once you've done that, you just click on done. Then you need to select the elements of the qualification that you're going to be working on. So for this visit, we're going to do a review. So I'm going to select all. Um, as we're going to be covering all the elements uh, in the review. You then need to select the session type. So the options are you've got an induction session, you've got a formal review, you've got a general session, a telephone session, exit session, out of the workplace, test and exams or learner support. So it's a review that we're going to select here. If it's a general session that you are selecting, um, you would make sure that you're only clicking the elements here that are relevant to that session. So if you're going out to do an observation, um, you would just be working on the MVQ skills units as opposed to the knowledge units. So just make sure you select the um, element that's relevant to the session. But as I've mentioned before, as it's a review, we've got to review all the elements. We then need to create the session, but there is the option if you're doing a group session, so if the apprentices are all coming into college in section four, for the location, you could just type in Middlesbrough College and then you can type in the room that the apprentice is working in. If you wish to do this as a group booking, you then need to add how many um, spaces are available on the session. If there are 15 students coming into the college for the lesson, make sure that you book this for 14 and not 15 as you're already booking this for one of the apprentices already. And if you want to use a repeat session, the option is there. However, I wouldn't advise that anybody uses a repeat session for more than a month at a time, because if a learner finishes the knowledge side of it and no longer required, and you book these appointments for more than a month, for example, a full academic year, then those sessions are going to continue um, to reappear on the apprentice's dashboard, and you'll have to keep going in and canceling those for that apprentice. So once you've got the information in that you require, you then click on create new session. This will then open up a new window um, with your appointment in there and the time. If you decide that you need to change something on this gray line here, you can do this by clicking on the calendar again, and that allows you the option to amend the date, amend the time, amend the duration. You can amend the location. If you decide that you've booked a review by mistake and you want to do an induction, you can just take that off and click the induction instead. And then once you've amended your details, if you click submit, and that will update that for you. After you've checked that all the details are correct, after you've checked the details are correct, what you need to then do is you need to expand the appointment and make sure that you're putting your planning in so that the apprentice is aware of what work will be carried out on the appointment. So our planning notes for this would be a review. And this is gonna be a six week review that we're going to do. And if you click on all aims and then submit, 
what that will do is that will then duplicate that planning into all the other elements of the appointment.